Hey y'all, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do some bohemian braids. So in this clip, you can see me splitting up the hair and I like to split up the hair, but also add the hair in between each of the little knobs so that we can have more hair on the racks. And this can actually take down your timing so tremendously, like it's equivalent to like stacking up a whole rack and a half. Then you wanna put your curly pieces on there. You really wanna split these up really small. You don't want big bulky pieces cause then your braids are gonna be bulky. So if you wanna finish your style faster, make sure to part your parts first and then braid. I think it's something about the muscle memory that makes this process go by faster, but it really does make the process go by way faster. Like I used to take about eight hours to braid, but now it takes about five to seven depending on the head size. So if you're new to braiding, I highly suggest you to make sure all that hair is out of your way, pin everything out your way. I don't know, it just makes it easier on your brain as you're trying to braid and as you're trying to add the hair in. If you have the hair all over the place or in your way, it's really just gonna like, it's gonna mess you up in the head, okay? So just make sure all that hair is out your way. So please pay attention to my fingers, okay? Because braiding is all about controlling the hair. So when you're adding in this piece of hair, make sure not to lift your fingers at all. Just squeeze that piece of hair in between your fingers and continue to braid. And as you're continuing to braid, make sure that you're making that piece tight. Like do not lose your grip. You want it to be as tight as possible. So that's how you want to make sure to hold it. Okay. Hold it and then put it in between your fingers, but do not lift your fingers and don't lose your grip. So I like to add about four pieces to each braid. The pieces should be really small. In the video, it doesn't look that small, but in real life, they are actually really, really thin. You don't want them to be too thick because that's how you get bulky, lumpy braids. If you want your braids to be smooth and perfect all the way throughout, you want those pieces to be small. And if you want the braids to be thicker, just keep adding the pieces in. But the smaller the pieces, the better. So y'all see how my fingers are shaking, y'all. That's partially because I got bad nerves, but that's also because I am fully controlling this braid. Like, I am making sure that each piece is tucked. I'm making sure that it is nice and neat. Like, you have to control the braid. You cannot just be braided. Otherwise, it's going to be all over the place, and it's not going to be neat. So, oh yeah, and I had some coffee, so that definitely played its part. So when you're adding in that curly piece, make sure to hold the hair down with your thumb when you're adding the piece in just to once again control the braid. You hold the curly piece just like you hold the other pieces, just like that. And you're just going to slide it right in. Ooh, ooh. And you're going to move this curly piece out your way by pinning it up and stick it inside your comb. Like, you can't see it in the video, but that curly piece is staying because I stuck it inside the comb. Okay, so then take that other curly piece, add it to that hair, and continue braiding like normal. And bam. Yeah, that kind of failed, but pick it back up. <laughs> and you just keep on braiding. Braid that other curly piece down. And as you can see, it doesn't mess up the braid or anything, but once again, you do have to control it. Make sure that it's tucked. And y'all see how I'm literally using my middle finger to help control the braid? You gotta use all your fingers. Well, not all of them, but them three fingers, your index, your thumb, and your middle finger should be working. Okay, so once you get towards the end, you're going to take your curly piece and you're going to pin that out the way as well. This helps you take the time down because you don't have to keep on adding curly pieces in. Just take that one long curly piece, you add it at the top, you braid it through, and then you're going to take it out once you get towards the bottom so that way it can be a curly piece on the top and a curly piece towards the bottom. But here's a key pointer. When it comes to dipping a braids, make sure that you let the water sit for at least five minutes. You don't want the water to be too hot because if so, it's going to loosen up your curls tremendously. So right here, you can see that I have the curly piece inside the comb holding it out my way. 
that's the best way you can do it instead of pinning it with a pin so yeah here's how the hair turned out y'all it was so pretty she absolutely loved it she don't even like middle parts but she really liked the way it looked with the middle part better than the side part so yeah that's how you do bohemian braids y'all make sure to comment below any questions you might have and as far as products you could use any pre-stretched hair i like to use expression spectra Freetress or Rua and then as far as the hair wax you could use anything that's not alcohol based just make sure it's water based because that's how you're going to avoid flaking and it turning white and ashy on you so yeah you guys make sure to hit subscribe turn on your post notifications bell so you can be alerted for my next video stay tuned